I'm SkateyXD and welcome to Hardcore with Chat, a series where I play a hardcore world and try and survive it. The challenge? Every time I play this world, I stream it live on Twitch and my chat can make me do any challenge, from raiding a bastion with no armor to curse of binding and elytra to my back, as long as it is reasonable and won't immediately lead to my death, chat can make me do it. Come join me at twitch.tv slash to get in on the fun. And if you enjoy my videos, be sure to like and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. Now, on with the video! Help IDK! I mean... <laughs> help IDK is... I actually really like that. Chat rolled? Yep. How about chat rolled help IDK? There. So, here you go. Back to game. Oh, hooray. Snowy biome. By the way, I will be taking basic steps of self-preservation. So, sorry if I'm not, like, entirely under your control. I do want this world to last a decent amount of time. Why did I agree to do this again? Like, why did I decide to do this again? You should find a village. Okay. Do you want me to find the village before or after I break down this tree? I am finding a village, chat. Don't worry. Just getting a few pumpkins first. Ultimate goal right now is to find a village. You should dig straight down. I've heard it's the best way to find diamonds quickly. I mean... Digging straight down over a clay patch, yeah. But I'll- Oh wait, no, I have- Why? Why do you do this? Scandium, why? You- you had to! You know that I am technically obligated to do whatever you want me to. And you tell me to dig straight down? Scandium, do you want me to die? Okay, if I'm gonna dig straight down, I'm damn well gonna do it in a safe- Hello, lava. Damn well gonna do it safely. Or at least somewhat safely. And I'm gonna get stoned while I'm at it. Oh, hello! That's nice. I'm gonna... Cook up the iron. Or at least some of the iron to get a shield. Because I- like, I want a shield. Gonna use this to cook up one of those to get a charcoal and then cook up eight pork chops. But Scandium, why did you give me the order to dig straight down? I am like- <sighs> Did you really think that you could play Minecraft with other people telling you what to do without having to dig straight down? No, I realize I probably should have seen that coming. But also, like, I had hope that you guys would be reasonable people. Apparently, that hope is misplaced. If anything, I'm doing you a favor so you don't have to do this hours into the world. That's fair. Well, I'll keep going till I, like, hit a cave or something and then I'll be out. You never specified how far I had to dig straight down, after all. Scandium's filled with chaos. No! That is a baby zombie! AKA, bad ideas in hardcore. I'm just not gonna do that at all. And Scandium, this is the one order that I will disregard if you tell me to do it. I am not tangling with a baby zombie. Stay away from the baby, please. Yes, Gem, I will take your orders for that. I will stay away from the baby. God, not lighting this up is gonna be a mistake. Okay, I don't know how to spawn-proof this. This is not that great. Okay, what do you want my goals for this stream to be? Like, survive first night kind goals? Okay, I'm totally going to get stuff spawning in here, aren't I? There. 
That way if stuff spawns, if it's too high, then I can just stay back or dig another way. Find the village, do not die. Okay, so goals for the stream are find a village. Hello, eerie noise. I know what you are. Going here. Tell me where the caves are. Give me a cave. Cave has been given. God, this is so nerve-wracking without an elytra. There's iron in the wall over there. There's also stuff that can drop from there. You should put an enderman in a boat as soon as you can. Yes, I will. I will make a friendman as soon as I can. Oh, wait. Hello? Is that what I think it is? Yeah, there's definitely a zombie in that cave right up there. Do you think you could make your home in one of those big caves, the pretty green ones? A lush cave? Damn it. I mean, probably. Yeah. I mean, if that's a suggestion, then I'm technically bound by the rules of this world to take it. I've got a furnace. And coal. And 14 iron. First things first, iron pick. Second thing, any armor that I can get my hands on. You should collect some shinies from the geode. Sure. Plan on getting this gold here. Because gold is good for gapples even though I have no apples at the moment. Gold is also shiny, I agree you should get it, yeah. Long-term goal should be make a hole and collect many, many shinies. That is a good long-term goal to have. I agree with you, Jim. That is a skeleton. Shoot. Skeletons are dangerous, especially when swimming up water streams. Short-term goals are village and dig straight down. That is fair. Well, I like to think that I've already completed Dig Straight Down, so. There. Okay, so he can't get up. Hello, creeper down there. No gravel, damn it. Oh! There. I think that this amethyst is probably going to become like my new base or something. So I might as well have the way in be quite well lit up. Well, you can't stay for too long. Need to find village to, and also that is not a lush cave. That is fair. And then I will head back and harvest a bunch of- That scared me. That scared me too much. Okay, I don't have a shovel right now, so gravel could be fatal. Plus this way, if I need to get the literal drop on any mobs, I have some gravel. Harvest the full grown clusters. Should I just get the crystal, the shards, or how many of the actual blocks should I grab? I'll be grabbing a bunch of actual blocks, I think. And calcite is a very pretty material, too. Sorry, my builder brain is just kicking in and being like, must grab build blocks. You know, this is actually kind of fun. I think that I wouldn't mind if this became like my Twitch legacy, being like a person who tries not to die while the stream Yeah. Day one. Yeah, I can probably head towards the surface now. I actually do like to use swords in my hardcore world, despite- Cause like, hear me out. Axes are a superior PvP weapon. But swords can hit multiple opponents at once and do better knockback. 
so I find that they're better for mob fighting. Also, with swords you can get enchantments like looting and stuff, and I like those enchantments, so yeah. Want to see how many shinies I can collect? So you basically want me to be a magpie in this world, don't you? Well, if that is what chat wants, I will be a magpie. Yes, sparkly things. Yes, shinies, nice home, maybe wings, bird. Yes. I hope you're okay if my lush cave has, like, a giant azalea or something on it. Because, like, even in-game, I like being high up. God, I really am a bird. Become a beekeeper? Yeah, I need Silk Touch to do that, but once I get Silk Touch, I will fulfill your wishes. Okay, I will become a beekeeper. I will be a cave hermit bird beekeeper. <laughs> this is gonna be a chaotic world, I can already feel it. And I can already feel that it's probably gonna spin off into a long one, too. At least if I have anything to say about it. The aim appears to just be cottagecore bird. But yes. Cottagecore bird. I think I can live with that. This is supposed to be risky wings to definitely be a long-term goal after house and beekeeper. Yeah. Honestly, like, did you really think that you could stop me from getting my wings? You know me and my wings. For anyone who doesn't know me, I'm kind of obsessed with the elytra. Like, to the point where I literally VILLAGE! I just don't take my elytra off at all. I will die in my, like, actual big hardcore world one day because I got meleeed and just couldn't stop myself from dying because I had my wings on. But will I care? No, no, I will absolutely not care. Because, like, wings. I intend to survive this night and therefore have my villagers survive. So, I will be sleeping. Sorry if chat wanted me to, like, not sleep. Bedtime is strictly enforced. I want no bedtime demons. That is very good, and I agree with that sentiment. You know what? I might just make my home, like, over here. I'm trying to figure out, like, aesthetic that I want for this build. Or also, like, you know, what I want to do for this build at all. Okay, this can be temporary home until Lush Cave is built. Yeah, sounds good. What should I do for walls? Hmm. Thinking oak walls. It's not like I have much of a choice on other materials. Hmm. Or maybe... Oh, that would look really nice if I had enough of it. Whatever. Eh, doesn't look bad. Also, trapdoors are really expensive, and whoever came up with that crafting recipe is absolutely evil. That makes, like, a nice flower pot style thing. Flowers. I like cornflowers, but I think that ox eyes are probably a good look for this build. Maybe I can try azure blue eyes. You know, I'll grab a couple cornflowers just for the hell of it. Meh. Yeah, the oxide daisies look best. The others can just go in my chest. And what should I do for my floor? I threw out my andesite, which was in retrospect a pretty bad decision. I might...
do something along these lines. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, I think I I think I like the look of that floor. Or actually, no, I'm in hardcore. So I want to, yeah. Now when zombies look at this, they'll think the door is open and they won't try and break it down. Okay, I need to figure out a way to work the amethyst into my build somehow. Because pretty amethyst cottage core is always nice. What should I use for a roofing material? Like, I could use cobblestone, but cobblestone doesn't always look that great. Got access to acacia, but acacia and oak don't really look that great together. Actually... I think I'm gonna redesign the entire front of my house. Move that all out by, like, one block. Just gonna switch a couple things out. Don't worry about me. And then the dirt. Trap doors. Okay. Does that look good? Too bulky. No. I'm just gonna chop these trees down and then end stream, okay? Because I'm definitely starting to flag and... Yeah. I don't wanna just stay on here and make content that isn't super fun to watch. Just gonna chop that. 